Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's little video um, is about this little oscillator. I've done quite a few videos on it. Um, but we're going to be charging um, this little cap bank. This is a newer one. Um, it has 100 volt capacitors on it. And it's going to trigger to, to go a little bit faster. Um, but we're going to do 60 volts um, into a 12 volt battery. And um, this is our voltage. Um, and then after we're going to charge up this little capacitor and see what kind of voltage comes out of that oscillator too. So let's fire this up. So basically going between 450 and 550 on milliamps. And um, here's our charging. So we're doing one amp at 60 volts. And you can see it firing with that. And um, yeah, it starts raising this battery pretty quick. So we're right around 50 watt discharges going into this battery. And um, yeah, that's pretty good. So this is just 12 volt input on this battery. Um, this is the force oscillator that I sell on my site at um, Kenergy.store. And um, like I said, this is a, a newer cap dump. Uh, it's not on my site yet, but maybe later. If you guys are interested, just leave me a note. So yeah, I think charges really quickly. So, but on the, one of the last videos, one of the guys was asking me um, if this thing will charge up to 400 volts, and because um, it outputs around 500. So, um, what we're gonna do is check it out. Put this voltmeter over here. So this is a 450 volt, 47 microfarad capacitor, and um, here's our voltmeter. So let's pull this over here so we can see a little better. So you have to remember on this um, oscillator, there's a neon light that helps protect the transistor. So um, whenever this goes over 80 volts, this neon starts coming on. So let's turn this on and um, watch the voltage here. So it goes up pretty quick and you can see that neon and um, yeah so the higher the voltage the more power is getting dissipated through the neon as I have a four 470 ohm resistor in series so we start getting up towards 400 volts there's a lot of power being dissipated and you can see it on the scope it's um, matching that So yeah, if it didn't have the neon in there, it could go all the way up to 500 volts, no problem. So pretty interesting. And you can see how bright that thing is. So it's dissipating a lot of power. So there's 400 volts. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, any questions, leave them in the comments.